think in the American South, one of the biggest obstacles that we as a local church need to deal with when it comes to diversity resides in our own hearts. And I think we've got to be settled as to the importance of diversity in our local churches, uh, why we feel like it's important or not important, and how we feel like the scriptures uh, direct us or shape our decisions for how we move forward in that. Um, I think just pursuing diversity for diversity's sake uh, without seriously contemplating how the gospel informs that decision will lead us down a road practically and pragmatically of really making token gestures towards something, thinking that by doing a few things we'll create the environment that we want, all along missing the, the source and the power of that very thing we're trying to create, which is the gospel. I mean, it is the gospel that has torn down the dividing wall of hostility. Paul said originally between Jew and Gentile, but they were people from different backgrounds, of different ethnicities, of different experiences. And the only thing that can bring them down to the same place is a recognition of their sinfulness before God that comes in the message of the gospel and the grace of God that comes to all men through Jesus that's in the message of the gospel. So until we think about trying to pursue diversity in our local churches through the gospel, I think we, we may end up getting a picture of what we want without really achieving what it is that we want. And I think it starts by examining our motives and our hearts. I mean, if it's just because it's the next cool thing, because you want to be the guy that was able to do it, or because that will differentiate you from the church down the street and maybe get more people, um, whatever. All the different motives that you may have or we may have as a church for doing it, I think you got to examine it. That's probably the most pernicious thing that we've got to deal with is our own motivation. Outside of that, there are secondary things that will come up. So as you begin to pursue that, you got to think about the, the, the ways you do the things you do and why you do the things you do. And are you creating any unnecessary uh, barriers or stumbling blocks in the way that you speak or in the way what you do when you gather? And those are secondary though. And that's what we tend to concentrate on. And we think if we can create those things, then we'll get the diversity that we want, but we never challenge why it is we actually want it, and if it's something that's fruitful or beneficial. And I think we've got to start there in our own hearts.